Okay, this short video is to um, discuss, um, I put a question into the FileMaker forum about date ranges. I was having a dickens of a time. Um, let me just show you what I've got. I'm going to turn off uh, the script debugger for a moment. And if I find in here, and if I put a date range, 1, 1, 2000, dot, dot, or dot, 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 works the same, 12, 31, 2012, so I get a whole date range, and press the Enter key, I'll find five of seven records. And uh, if I show them all, you can see that I have some older just to get them out. But my goal was to try and um, just find a script that would work. Well, I wrote a little program for this purpose just to show you. Uh, it, all it has is date, and then um, in the scripting, um, because I'm going to use a... Uh, um, I'm going to query the the user. I need two uh, two fields in here, date fields, and I'll show you where that works. So I have data in here, and I wrote a script, and uh, the script looks like this. Uh, first, I show all records, then I set my uh, error capture on, but I have a custom dialog, and in it I have two fields, and um, the first one is the find begin date, and the second one is the find end date and that's because in this when it asks for two inputs it has to put them somewhere so I put that in then I enter find mode then one suggestion was I use a variable so I opened up a global variable date range and I I assemble the uh, the, the range itself from the the first field the date and then I bring in the the ellipse and then I put the end date and then I set field because now that I'm in find mode I want to put in this field I want to put that assembled global variable uh, data and um, then I perform my form uh, fine and then I just want a little error comment if if I get a hit I want to just end up but if I don't get a hit I want to say no there's no match so I that's what I want to show you so uh, I'll save these just so I've got them. I want to open up my uh, script debugger. And now I'm going to go over to my little um, uh, script that I wrote. And I'm just going to execute it. And I'm going to start stepping through it. So uh, step one is set the air capture on. Then show this custom dialog. So here it comes. So I'm going to go 1, 1, 2000. And I'm going to tab and do 12, 31, 2012. Okay. And now it populates right there. Then I step, um, set a variable. That's my global. So now you'll see down below, nothing's happening. I'm. What am I doing here? So you go down through it. And it's finally it's picking up something. But it's it's almost too late. And so I do the perform find and I get an error 400 which says it's empty well depending on which record I was pointing at um, I got a 401 or a 400 but I started looking and I got a suggestion from somebody well you look at are you using a global variable so let me X out of the script let me go into um, here and let me just show you something really interesting in storage if I change this to global and I change this to global and say OK. Now when I execute the script, watch the difference. I start stepping through it. I show the custom dialog. It comes up 1, 1, 2000, tab 12, 31, 2012. OK. But now what it does, because it's a global, it populates every one of these fine end dates. They're all in there. So now when I enter find mode, now also look, I've got it down here, but when I um, I enter find mode and now I set my variable, can you see it's now got the, the ellipse in there perfectly. I do a set field and here it moves it over into here. I perform find and I get a zero which says it finds the right ones. And sure enough, five of the seven are found exactly like I was having and I kick out of the script. So um, this only confirms that if you're doing a, a fine date range, 
the two dates that you set up in here to use the date, they have to be global. And once they're global, the script works perfectly. Also, I just want to tell you one other thing. I'm going to get this, this off. Um, when you do a find, let me run that script again. You can also do 1, 2000 and 12, 2000 and 12. OK. And what you'll find is, is it'll add in the right dates for you. So when you um, finish it up, it'll find exactly what you need. Um, in the help, it tells you that you, you can use wildcards, you can use anything. Uh, you can say, let me show you another one. You do a find, a find, and you can say 1 dot dot 15, uh, or not 15, January, February, March. Let's do 3 slash. Um, um, 2000, and you can do um, 1 slash 3, oops, 1 dot dot 3 slash 2000. Okay, and um, what it'll do is it'll find if there's anything in January, February, or March of that year. Uh, so you can use the ellipse for find on any one of those fields at all.